Hello, and welcome to another quick game developer's vlog, in which I'll be talking about this program again, because I made a few updates. Uh, in order to facilitate creation of sprites, uh, which are a kind of graphic for my upcoming game, um, anything that moves in a game, especially when it's a two-dimensional game, um, we often call those things sprites. So, for example, player characters like Super Mario in, in Super Mario. <laughs> um, he is a sprite. Every every little character that moves uh, or every cloud and stuff such that drifts by, all those things are called sprites because they are separate from the background and the other imagery. Um, in order to create several such, I needed, or well, I didn't need to, but it would very much facilitate my work if I could copy pictures. Um, because of course then I can, if I can copy a picture, make a copy and then, you know, make some little change if I want to animate or, or just uh, create this, the same picture with slightly different colors that I can choose from, that sort of stuff. Uh, creating copies is easier than doing the whole thing over again from scratch. So I added that feature. Um, Basically, what you what you do is you you issue a special command when you want to save the file, and then it allows you to type in a new name, and then it creates a new file with that name, but with the same information as the as the one you were working on. And it works excellently. Uh, a second feature uh, that, together with the first one, really creates <laughs> a lot of uh, flexibility and versatility is the ability to uh, to twist the graphic in uh, 90 degree increments like this. Uh, this way I can easily create uh, sprites facing all four directions because in my game I want my little my various characters uh, the the one you play as and all the other ones as well to be able to move in all four you know, it's like like cardinal directions. It'll still look very simple but it <laughs> it'll look better than if he's backing up when he's going <laughs> You know, down screen and sidestepping when he's going left and right. Um, so I'm very happy to have implemented that. Uh, finally, <laughs> I've implemented two other things. Um, the ability to reverse an image horizontally, like so. If you look at him, it looks like he's sort of wiggling his tail and switching his gun from left to right. Um, that's very handy. Or, you know, I don't know if it's very handy, but it's a little bit handy. <laughs> And finally, I did the same so I can to, to, to flip or reverse the image vertically as well. Uh, <laughs> however, upon running it on a more detailed picture like this one, I tested it on my development computer and it seemed to work fine. But upon running it here, I did discover a, a little bug that I'll now demonstrate. If I flip him vertically, you'll see that he became becomes indistinct. There's some um, uh, disalignment, if you like of the various rows of pixels. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why that happens, but uh, I believe it must be a very simple uh, coding error that I can fix. It's just that uh, I need to go to work soon and I didn't have time to address this before recording. And you know, most of what I need has succeeded. Uh, interestingly, if I flip him again, he uh, returns to normal. And I, I actually tested, uh, I can flip him vertically then flip this image horizontally, and then flip him vertically, and he, he's fine. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit curious to see if we do this and and twist him. Yep. <laughs> Apparently, uh, I, I, the w whenever I do the vertical flip, it uh, it reverses this state somehow. Uh, I'm actually quite curious to see what the pr what the problem is. Uh, you know, it's it's something I can easily work around, and it should be very easy to solve. So I, I'm not dismayed or annoyed by this error. I'm mostly amused, and I think you might be too. It's always fun when, especially when it's not something uh, grave, <laughs> uh, to to experience these little uh, visual bugs because they sort of add spice. I think to the to the development experience and something fun to show for you or to you. Well, that's it. Uh, you can see here the 
I posted this image on Patreon and Instagram lately. Um, it's a portrait I'm working on, but uh, you probably know that. Uh, a portrait of a character from my novella. A, a, a very briefly mentioned character, but uh, interesting nonetheless. And he might feature in future novellas. His name is Mandeep. Um, I'd say he's maybe 60% done there, but uh, there's plenty of work to do, you know. We have the basic structure, but a lot of details. <laughs> For example, he doesn't have uh, irises or pupils, so he looks really creepy. And a few other things. <laughs> Uh, I think that's enough for this update. I just wanted to show these new features. Um, so, with that, I wish you a uh, good time of day and goodbye. <laughs>